Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video, I will be talking about how we can aggregate the data, right, of a multiple rows, right, or we can say how we can aggregate a multiple rows into a single row. Okay, so in the previous video, we have taught about, you know, what is explode function and how we can segregate the column into a multiple rows, right, or we can say how we can, how we can flatten an array in a PySpark data frame but in this video we will be doing a reverse engineering means we have we have a rows we have to you know aggregate into a single array right so if you can see over here this was the problem and if you haven't watched that previous video I would suggest to go and check out the previous video and then jump into this video also please check out my courses on my website called www.geekcoders.co.in you can get the link in the description box as well as in the info button cool now you can see this is this was our data and here you can see we have id name marks and this was the problem statement we have to actually you know convert these array or convert i mean flatten these array into a rows so you can see this was the output All right now i need to do the same thing i need to you know reverse this i need to this is our a source data frame and we have to convert into it into like this cool so let's see Chalo, let's start it. So I'll just run this. Let me run it again. Uh, here, what I'll do, I'll write here df underscore final is equal to df underscore final dot select. Select, yeah, select. See, now this is id, id, id. What we need to do, we need to aggregate the things, right? So whenever the aggregation comes, we have to use group by, right? We have to use group by. So I am using here group by and on what basis I need to add a here ID I need to add a here age name. So I'll just write here ID and name. What else I need to add? I need to add here marks. Do you think? No, I need to, you know, aggregate on marks, right? Marks column. So I will use here aggregation and after that what I'll do I'll use here collect underscore list. So collect underscore list and collect unders underscore set. There are two methods present in PySpy. So collect collect underscore set method you know uh, will not have uh, a duplicates. Okay let's say I am having 20, 30, 40 marks. So there we do not have any duplicates. So the output will be like 20, 30, 40. Now you can think of if we are having 20, 20, 40 marks, then we will be having only 20 and 40, right? Hmm. Set you means, right? Set, set, set means, you know, there is no duplicate. Okay. So I will pass here the column name marks and let me do a display of it. Now you might be thinking, hey, Saga, this is a very straightforward problem and a concept yeah that is but you can see over here the problem or the challenge is over here that you for the for this third id right you can see here null that is okay you know because uh, because that john student you know the person who is john he did not appear in the exam so it means it has having null and we have just kept it like empty basis that is cool but for the kim you know we are having a null and what we did over here we you cannot see you cannot see the second index right having null value so how would you understand how would you understand that you know uh, which column which marks is having you know null value what i meant is what i meant is if i change the data set little bit instead of null over here if i write none here and one okay now let me run this again quickly quickly and let me run this and if i run this now then you can see again the output is same 21 right now how will you identify if i am saying the 20 marks is of you know subject social study or the 30 marks the, the second index will will belongs to or i mean the, uh, the 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 second index belongs to math marks and third third index or we can say the second index belongs to some different subject then how will you justify whether for this kim student uh, you know which marks is for which right if it is a complete empty array 
right then we can say he did not appear or the someone uh, some some student did not appear in the exam but in this case how you can justify right whether uh, null should come should 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 goes or should map with you know should map with a science subject or social study subject or math subject and so 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 right then there is a problem no now what you can do a simple thing i can go i can write like df is equal to final df underscore final again dot select right and here i can write id oh id should be in capital letter id name and then what we have marks so marks what i can do i can use here colis also you can use df dot n any dot fill method i believe of df dot fill any method right i don't uh, don't remember exact the name right so you can also try try with that also but here i can i am using here colis so colis means if this you know whatever you know the column name i am providing here marks if this value is having null then i can say i i will replace this value with some constant value right or dummy value so ideally we should pass a dummy value that value which is which which is not supposed to be here or you know which cannot be which cannot be the true value or the real value so if i put here zero right then this is not valid right because there might be some student who is very poor in the studies right uh, right and he may get or she may get zero marks but no one can get minus marks negative marks okay let it be if some if if there is a negative marking right then someone can get a um, negative mark negative marks minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 but no one can get no one can get the marks like this minus 999 exam is 100 ka hai right so so this is only the reason i kept here this constant value right and here also let me do a and here i will use alias i will use here marks and here also i will use here marks okay now let me quickly run this above wala cell and then i can run this you can see we have then the correct output later if you are doing if you are performing any operation then you can say he and then you can replace this minus nan nan with nan value right suppose i am saying hey sagar now i need to and i i only find out the value only find out the you know first subject marks first subject that is social study then how you could do that hey it's very pretty straight simple right select of uh, you know id name call of marks and index value so index value of marks i mean see you array start from zero index right and i am saying the first first wala only i need so i can give here zero df dot final let me copy this i mean the you know the things are overwriting so hence this is the reason so no worries it will be fixed i'll have to just write it over here again copy this and put it over here now if i run this it should work you will see we are getting the you know output like 20 40 minus 99 and 20 now if i put a1 then you will get minus 999 in the last cell right now now i can see hey for this student you know uh, and let's say this is the marks of uh, you know some math ma math subject so i can just write here math so i can say ha huh, you know the uh, i mean this kim does not appear or you know yeah does not appear in this uh, minus 99 now again you can see over here that for john it is showing us null because we do not have that you know value so again we can say like this you know we uh, here we can replace 
I mean, you know, we can add here case when and we can say key. if null is coming like this, then we can say this, 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 this person does not appear or did not appear in the exam or, you know, some, well, some any not applicable reasons like that. So if I write here two, then you will see the Kim having, you know, the marks, some different marks one, right? I hope that you have at least understand or understood this concept why you should always ignore not ignore we should not ignore always the nulls otherwise the calculation whatever you are doing might be different right so we should replace the nulls with some dummy or constant value and once the operation has been done then we can again replace that you know that constant value with the null or if it is up to us whether we need it or not right i hope that you have understood this concept and will meet you in the next lecture till then thank you bye bye i hope that you are liking my videos if you do please share with your friends and write a linkedin post comment me like it and subscribe so that this video will be reached to many audience Chalo, thank you